It looks like it would be very reputable. The internet is filled with websites spreading lies and misinformation about COVID-19. And here we have COVID vaccines, a spectacular failure data show. It's exactly the opposite. UW Medicine OBGYN Dr. Christina Adams Waldorf sees the effects all the time with her patients. Like many, I've become really tired of the misinformation, and I find that it's really hard to battle this. The breaking point for Adams Waldorf and her colleagues was last summer when 15 unvaccinated pregnant women in Mississippi alone died from COVID. They knew they had to push back on the misinformation killing moms and their unborn babies. We now know that the COVID-19 disease increases a, woman, a pregnant woman's chance of dying 22 times, and the vaccine is protective for this. This is an incredibly important piece of data that, that pregnant women need to know. The more protection that you have up front, the better. Adams Waldorf launched a social media campaign and website called One Vax, Two Lives. It's dispelling many of the myths, like the vaccine is experimental and not safe for pregnant women or their fetuses. We know so much about them that it, it's absolutely incorrect to say that they're an experimental vaccine. Some of the misinformation has a kernel of truth, like the vaccine alters a woman's menstrual cycle. And that's true by one day. So a woman who has a 28 day menstrual cycle might then have a 29 day menstrual cycle. For most women, this is really within the spectrum of normal. One thing Adams Waldorf says is very true about some of these sites is the profit motive. And these are all the different ways that you can buy ivermectin. Direct links to unproven and sometimes dangerous treatments. But here's a pharmacy directory and here's a way that you can pay money to get this medication. And so really it is about making money in the end. The pandemic's new front line fighting the ills of social media misinformation. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.